So, welcome back to episode fucking quattro, quattro. of Nerd Dungeon. Um, um, so, for this episode, we got a few things to go through. First off, we're going to do a full review of the Star Wars prequels. prequel trilogy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the, Rock, Star Wars prequel trilogy. the Rock is cooking something bad. Yeah. It fucking smells like the Star Wars prequels. <laughs> yeah. Um, which we call it so we'll that. ask Duke some questions every once in a while, because Duke's a joke. What do you think, Duke, about that? <sighs> Alright. Fuck you. Um, so then we got uh, shit talking, Duke. Star Wars prequels review. We're going to blaze right through Play those pieces of shit, because we're not going to... Enough people have went in-depth with those things, we don't really need to talk about them. Second of all, I got a uh, mystery... Uh, we got a mystery idea that I'm going to present to Zach on the show. Indeed. He does not know what I'm going I to talk about. I am pretty stoked. Um, so... Uh, what else are we gonna do here? Just Whatever else comes to mind. Probably. Look at my notes. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna do Star Wars prequels, and we're gonna be doing mystery thing, and we're also going to be announcing our second or our third. I guess our should we count as the second? Because yeah, we discontinued the first. Okay, one. so the the reboot series of the title defense. We still haven't upgraded this thing to say we'll fix it eventually. We could just have it say like motherfucking king yeah. or something like that. Just to not change it. I don't know. We'll find it eventually. We'll find something. Yeah. What so, do you think, Duke? Again. <laughs> thank you for the encouragement. So now, um, Star Wars prequels, motherfucker. First off, what do you? What, how, what are your feelings about Star Wars: The Force Awakens thus far? Thus far? Thus far. I feel like they did a lot in the trailer, but then left it open for open-minded people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the part where Luke. Touches R two D two, touches it. Who else has a right hand that's robotic? Darth Vader. But Darth... <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, whatever. What was that one guy? No, don't know. Um, okay, no. I was gonna go expand. You know it's Luke. I know. Yeah, yeah, it's dick. probably Luke. Okay. But didn't Luke have like a uh, human-looking robotic hand? Not in the actual movies, no. Yes, he did. No. Yes, he did. No. Pretty yes, he did. Pretty sure it was always robot. No, that was Anakin. Anakin had the robotic hand. Luke had like a one that looked like skin, but it was like he, it was robot. Maybe so, okay. Well, you gotta think this movie's like what twenty or thirty years after everything. Is it thirty? Thirty or forty or something like that. It's like twenty, thirty or something. Like yeah, something, like something that. stupid. So the skin could have deteriorated off of it, depending on what it was. You're dumb. No. Maybe he was wearing a glove, like a metal what? glove. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, whatever. So all right. Anyway, what, okay. Fucking Piccolo, goddamn. We're laying down. We're taking a nap. Okay, rate the prequels. Like, rank them or rate them? Rank them? <laughs> rank them? One, two, three, two, one, and then give, like, your rating out of ten from them. Okay. Obviously, the best one is Revenge of the Sith. Yes. Because that one's almost a good movie. And I know that people get pissed when people say stuff like that, like the people who really hate the prequels, like, you're just saying that because there's lots of action in that one. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I think it's passable as just a uh, sci-fi movie. Yes. As a Star Wars movie, it fails completely. Oh, totally. Yeah. Um, Pretty much all the prequels. Yeah. But that one is like the closest to not failing. Yeah. So um, are you putting that? Are you putting that one or three? On the list? That's that's no, that's the best one. That's, that's the best one. Okay, okay go on. you're gonna go top to bottom. Okay. Okay. Number two, the, the second worst. This is really difficult for me, so I'm just gonna throw one out there because I honestly don't know which one I hate more between Attack of the Clones and the Phantom Fuckface. <laughs> so then, um, I'm gonna go with Attack of the Clones, the second worst. Okay. Because at least that one, there was like a cool part with Jango Fat with uh, fighting. Uh, yeah. Obi Wan, Ken, yeah, uh, Ben, whatever the hell his name is, Bonjo. In, the, in the Banjo Kenobi, um, <laughs> Banjo Kenobi fighting Banjo ba Banjo Kazooie fighting him in the rain, <laughs> and like they like he didn't have his lightsaber, so it was like a kung fu fight. Yeah, that was kind of cool seeing him like a Jedi have to not use their lightsaber or whatever. Yeah, but other than that, the movie was absolute shit. So then you're putting Phantom Menace number three. Phantom Menace is Cody's the worst. favorite Star Wars. Yes, Cody's <laughs> favorite Star Wars movie. And he, he legitimately, like, I thought he was joking the first few times. He legitimately, that is his favorite one. He's a fucking idiot. Um, Qui-Gon Jinn is one of his favorite characters. Do you know who's, do you know who his number one favorite Star Wars character is? Jar Jar Binks. Gen Darth General Grievous. He's a good character. I, mean, I wouldn't put him on top. That's his favorite character. I'd put him on top ten. 
he's stupid. Well, yeah. Look, he's, he's just, he looks cool, and he's got a yeah, cool play. Yeah. That's the only reason. Yeah. But then again, Boba Fett is my favorite character. But Boba Fett is a piece of shit. Boba Fett's a worthless piece of shit. I just like him because he's cool. He looks cool. You yeah. Know? So okay, I guess that's fair. But um, no, Co Cody's a fucking retard, and so is the Phantom Fuckface. So then, uh, but with that movie, I feel like that should be the worst because, it, for one, it's boring as hell. Um, two, there's like poop jokes and stuff. It's made for like little kids. It's made for like little children. Yeah. Um, and then, and it's like, yeah, Star Wars can appeal to kids. Like, we watched Wait. it when we were kids and hey, stuff. Hey, Duke, what do you think about Phantom Menace? Good work, Cooper. You're no. fucking idiot. You think Phantom Menace was a good, what the, what the hell is his problem? Good work, good work, good work, George Lucas, good, 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 good job. My good favorite good. one, Darth Maul's my favorite. Good work. <laughs> so then, um, but that movie, that was like the time where it was like the sting of how bad the prequels were. That was a fresh wound right there. So, all right. And I'm gonna rank, uh, in terms of just being movies, yes. uh, Revenge of the Sith, I'm gonna give that one like a six out of 10. Mm -hmm. Seems fair, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, Attack of the Clones, four out of 10. Phantom Menace, two out of 10. That's what I was, I was gonna say two or three. No, honestly, Attack of the Clones should get like a 3 out of 10. Like, that's really bad. It's yeah. it's boring as hell. It's like 6, 3, and 2. Kit Fisto is in that movie, though. Dude, I have Kit Fisto's Kit, lightsaber. <laughs> Kit Fisto's my favorite character. <laughs> Look, oh. I got a guy with a penis head. From Jawa's Palace? Yeah. Alright, rank and rate the Star Wars prequel. Revenge of the Sith. I'll give it a solid 7.5. Really? Out of 10? <laughs> no, I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. 6.5 out of 10. As a Star Wars movie, they all get zeros. Yes, because they have no point to anything. They all fucking dumb. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so I get a six and a half out of ten. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be different here. I, I equally dislike Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones the same, but I'm gonna put Phantom Menace before Attack of the Clones for the sole fact of Darth Maul, most pointless character, most pointless death. But he looked badass even though what did lightsaber and it's the only one ever. <laughs> like mm. nobody else. His like sister or whatever has one. That's uh, animated bullshit. <laughs> yeah. It's not even Star Wars. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna put Phantom Menace, I'm gonna give it a solid three. And then I'm gonna give Attack of the Clones a solid three. Okay, so basically our consensus is Revenge of the Sith is passable. Uh the, yeah, fan, the, like, the Phantom yeah, yeah. Whatever and the Attack of the Cunts are both bottom. So then, um, okay, so let's move on. Um, okay. Placement of Pepsi here. <sighs> Drink Pepsi again. Drink it. Have you seen the Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadow teaser trailer? I sure have. What did you think of it? I thought it actually looked decent. Like, I think it looks good. I watched the first one when it came out. Yeah. Didn't I didn't want to watch the it was movie. Fucking garbage. I watched the trailer like three times, never watched the movie. Really? I probably should sit down and watch the movie. You, you didn't know, you probably shouldn't. Uh, if you want to see the highlight, look up the scene, the final fight scene, mm -hmm. and like the scene where they're beatboxing in the elevator. All in one take. It's like all one scene. Got it. Um other than that. April O'Neil has a great ass in that movie. She's also Megan Fox. Well, so Megan Fox has a great ass. Well, yeah, everybody knew that. Yeah. And then she uh, got plastic surgery and actually looks like dog shit. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Um, right after Transformers. I guess she did get kind of uglier, didn't But those movies sucked ass, so what's matter? Transformers is unwatchable. Like, I, I know that people like to say... Oh, they should have stopped after Kill. Like, 2 was pushing. Two, no, two, two, went to four. 2 wasn't even pushing I think the first movie was pretty pushing it. And then yeah. Dark of the Moon, I honestly would give a pass. Are we talking about Transformers now? Might as well. Alright, Transformers it. 1. Rank that, like, rate that movie. Give me a full, detailed Synopsis. critique of that fucking movie. What did you think of that the horrendous piece of shaky cam CGI? When did that movie come out? I was, I've had to be, like, less than 10. I would have been around 10. 2008? 8. So I remember I'm, going to see it in theaters. So I was in like 9 or 10 when that movie came out. Yeah, so That was way. before I used to hang out with you. That used to be before I was into stuff like that. I didn't even know you. Yeah. I was still living in I that actually movie. thought Transformers was a decent movie when I when it came out. I was yeah. like, oh, Transformers. I thought they were, I thought they were all Gosh, awesome. Yeah. You Stay. knocked down Stay Puff. Stay Puff, I'll kiss him then. Okay, we're, we're going to have the Frankenstein monster. Or Frankenstein. It's Frankenstein. 
Look, it's, it's Frankenstein. It's the Frankenstein. His name is Frankenstein. Oh, it's the Frankenstein. Anyway, yeah, it's Frankenstein. So then, <laughs> that one came. I thought it was cool. A good idea. I think I still think it was a good idea if it would have been better made and not by Steven Spielberg. It wasn't Steven. Spielberg. Not Steven. Steven Spielberg. Michael Bitch. Yeah, Michael Bay. Why was I thinking Steven Spielberg? Because he produced it. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. No, okay. If dumbass bitch tits didn't make it with a bunch of fucking cars exploding. Okay, you, the explosion thing? I gotta rant about this. People always say, like, like anybody that is on the internet hates Transformers, right? Like, the movies. Um, and then if you ask them, why do you hate it? They'll be like, Michael Bay and his stupid explosions. <laughs> no, that's okay. just... If there were actual, like, robots running around shooting shit lasers, would blow up. This shit would blow up. And, okay. and, like, and they talk the only reason I don't like it is because I've rewatched those movies. When the fourth one came out, I went to theaters and saw it. Oh, my... That, uh, we'll yeah. get to that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. I watched... Before that, I watched first the one, two, and three right in a row. Yeah. And as you go through the movies, there's, like, explosion, 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 explosion. The whole movie without an explosion. Explosion, explosion, explosion. Five minutes, explosion. <laughs> mm, about 20 minutes, explosion. It just like makes a loop. Because then once it gets to here, it goes explosion, 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 explosion. Whole movie, explosion, explosion, explosion. explosion. Like a heavy area yeah. of explosion. I mean, okay, a lot of movies have explosions. Well, and like people make fun of the Michael Bay thing. Like, okay, I don't remember seeing any explosions in the Ninja Turtles movie. I mean, there was the, the one at the very end of the movie when they're... Okay, but they don't have rocket launchers. Yeah, there's not. Yeah, there's anymore. not. Like they're not shooting lasers and shit or anything. And the new movie doesn't look like it has that many explosions either. Um, yeah. Okay, so the first one, I'm giving it a solid like one. Yeah. I'll give it. The, I'll give it the point five. <laughs> the first movie. Yeah, the first Transformers. Out of a, one and a half. Out of ten. Out of ten. That's really brutal, man. <laughs> I don't. Know. I think it's at least watchable. Kind well, of. yeah, it's watchable, but Piece the plot and who they cast for it, I don't think Shia LaBeouf fit that worst shit. Ah, I don't mind Sir Shia LaBeouf. I also don't think Matt Damon figured that out. Matt down. Damon. That's not Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. You mean Mark Wahlberg? Mark Wahlberg. I'm thinking all these other people. <laughs> I watched The Martian recently. That's oh, why. that's why. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Matt Damon. Mark, you know Mark Matt Damon Wahlberg. doesn't poop? Did you know Kim Jong Un doesn't poop either? No, he doesn't. He doesn't pee or poop. But no, Matt Damon doesn't poop in toilets because he's on this like crusade to get everybody fresh water in the world and he says until everyone has fresh water he's not pooping <laughs> and he said that like a few years ago so he's wow. still not pooped wow so then okay. um, what do you think about the second one i'll let you we'll go back we'll, we'll go back and forth uh revenge of the fall is a piece of shit but uh the fight in the death oh my god optimus dies i did it <laughs> so then uh yeah optimus dies like early on okay here's what's stupid they pulled like a dragon ball z with like first movie, Optimus fighting Megatron, the rest of the Autobots and Decepticons are fighting each other, and Optimus is kind of like not even really on Megatron's level, like he's getting kind of beaten up, you know. Um, second movie, they clash in the woods or whatever, and Megatron's like, oh, don't hurt me, Optimus, and like he's got like yeah. three other dudes flying around trying to, and Optimus is just like, God, like, bitch slapping all these Decepticons, like it's nothing to him, and then... Megatron pulls like a Seth Rollins and comes up and stabs him and then like um and then he's dead the whole movie and then there's some other dumbass villain who what was his name? The Fallen? Is that his name? Doesn't he have like an actual transform? The not? one that doesn't transform. Yeah. The, he's like a sound wave. Is it, yeah, he's or no, that's you're talking about sound wave. No, he's I'm like, like in the sound he's kinda like in the sound wave, more or less. The fallen. Yeah. The dude with the staff at the end of the movie who's like... Yeah, isn't he in like this big like robot satellite looking thing? No, he's on uh, Krypton or whatever. I don't know I don't know where he's at. Anyway. Uh, with the, like the baby <coughs> Transformers. Yeah. That explained... I didn't know Transformers were born in eggs. I didn't know Transformers were born at all. I thought they were just kind of there. Well, the, Alan claims the Quintessons made the Transformers. Alan's also beating off the Transformers. Yeah, Alan is a fucking. We should have Alan right. Alan should have been on the show because he hates these movies. Um, what you call it? So then, uh, Transformers: Revenge of the Fall and his piece of shit. What are you writing? Ah, uh, oh, damn. Well, for the one scene where the girl grows a tail in the college room, and you can—that's pretty hot until she grew the tail. Yeah, that's pretty hot. So I mean, when she grew the tail, I was like. Oh, yeah. So then, uh, and then Megan Fox walked in and then ruined it. Yeah, so then um, that was pretty cool. And then she turns into like a robot or something. Yeah. So I'm going to deduct points for uh, the tease there. The dick tease? The dick tease. Dicks, um, and what is it? Sand exploding was kind of stupid when they're like shooting right. at sand and there's explosions. Michael Bay. Deduct points there. 
super Optimus Prime at the end of the movie when he gets all the armor and just fucking rapes Megatron and the main villain in like a two second fight mm -hmm. scene. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna give that one a three out of ten. And there were the racist robots. Mudflat mud mud kids. Skids. Skids, yeah. Those are my favorite Transformers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Those are my favorite ones. Dude, and then there was the Devastator. He's pretty cool though. Uh, no, he was not cool. I like him. I don't, I don't like, like him, him in the movies. Yeah. Devastator in general, though, is cool. Because Devastator's actually intelligent in the cartoon. Like, he's not... This like, movie, they're just like... He's not like... Fuck it. Monster! <laughs> yeah, and then he's got, like, balls. Yeah. Yeah, this is dumb. Didn't Skids and Mudflap make a joke about his balls? Yeah. Or no, it was the one guy who's like, I'm directly below the enemy scrotum. Oh, yeah, that's... Like, like, clang, clang. <laughs> and like, this is dumb. And okay, so three. Dark of the Moon. Dark of the Moon. I with really, the Victoria's Secret model in yeah, I really don't remember much of this one because I watched it in theaters. I remember that there was a Victoria's Secret model. That's pretty much my extent of knowing. Uh, there was an Asian man, and he like whipped something out of his dick, didn't he? Oh yeah, he's in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. and then he's like, yeah. smell that, and then like, and then he doesn't get, get yeah. commit suicide or something. Yeah, sure, we'll just fucking close Something. Okay, I'm giving this one a solid four. A solid four? Uh, that one watching. girl had a great ass, so yep. I'm going to give it an 11 out of 10. No, I'm kidding. That movie's horrible. Two out of ten. Okay. No, wait. I actually like that one the best out of the things. Okay, well, okay. I'd give it a five out of ten, okay. honestly. I go with a four. You're going with a four? No, you're going four. Your turn's four. It turns four? Jesus. Oh, the it's fourth four. movie. is yours. Oh, Age so of, hurry up and get Age with of it. Extension. Extension. Um, that movie's horrible. Robert. It's the worst movie Michael Bay has ever made, in my opinion. <laughs> honestly, I think it is. I hate that movie. It's the worst Transformers movie by it's far. Right. What? 340. Okay. So um, skip along here, buddy. All right, let's skip a little hop, skip, and jump. You gotta, pick, you gotta write the fourth one and go through with the synopsis here. Uh, well, there's a a guy who turns into a Lamborghini or something. Either way, you know, he's stupid. Yes. Uh, the Galvatron and Sniper. There was like a pony and there was like a world record set for like amount of product placements in a movie. And I don't even mind product placements, but to that extent, it was like product placement porn. Yeah. Basically. Like, we product placement for Pepsi. Yeah. There you go. And, uh, and Mountain Dew. And Mountain Dew. Well, it's Pe PepsiCo makes Mountain Dew. Well, fuck Pepsi, though. You know what? For Pepsi and Mountain Dew. Alright. Okay, now tell me this secret thing you're gonna jizz my pants. Have you ever heard of the movie Martyrs? No. It is a French torture horror film that is the like banned in all these countries and it's super violent. So it's like our movies get banned in Germany? Yeah. Fuck um, you, Germany. Fuck you, Germany. So then, uh, it's, a, it's a great movie. Okay. They are doing an American remake uh, where they wanted, and it's the people who made Twilight are making it, and it's going to completely neuter that movie. So I would think it'd be fun if on the next episode of Nerd Dungeon, episode five, Whenever we get time to we watch it, Twilight, we're gonna watch all four of them. No, and then read aren't the there books. like six of them? There's four. No, there's Twilight, Eclipse, New Moon, and Breaking Dawn. Breaking Dawn Part One and Part Two. Okay, it's five. Then. There's That's five. What you learn to add. <laughs> it's been, uh, Technically, it's four. I, I thought they four. split Eclipse into two parts. Did they? F no, it was only. No, I'll Google it. Okay, okay, so then, um, Martyrs. We're gonna watch, I'm gonna make you watch Martyrs, but you have to read it because it's subtitled. Okay. Doesn't that sound like a fun time? Sure does. It's a great movie, but I want you to watch it, and then I'm gonna show you the trailer for the American Pussy remake where they're gonna neuter it so that all the hip girls can go see it because it's the lay it dang, and it's from Blumhouse. And Blumhouse, do you know who Jason Blum is? He's an asshole. He he literally he explained that movie The Gallows that came out recently. Have you heard of that? Mm -hmm. It's like a horror movie. He went and took two high school kids' movie and exploited them to make money off of it and it made a bunch of money, but it got horrible reviews and he ended their movie careers before they even started. And he made money off of it. And he's the dude who produced like Insidious and Paranormal Activity and all that gay <laughs> shit. Yeah, so Eclipse is one part. Eclipse is one part? Yes. So there's five Twilight films. Five. Or did they split New Moon into two parts? No, none of them were split into two parts besides Breaking Dawn. Why'd they split that one into two parts? Because it's the final one, just like Mocking Jay, part one and part oh, two. Oh, God. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one and part two. So, Dude. next episode of Nerd Dungeon. Wait, I'm gonna get Duke. We can ask Duke some questions here before the end. Go get him. Put your questions in the comments, you shitbags. So we can ask Duke your questions. So, next episode of Nerd, Nerd Dungeon. We're gonna try and do a Q&A. We're gonna be watching Martyrs. 
or I'm gonna make him watch it and then he's gonna give your opinion on it right after. And then I'm gonna show him the trailer for that. We never talked about the trailer for the TMNT movie. Next time. Next time on Nerve Dungeon. Will Goku be able to defeat King Piccolo? Will they do? Find out. Go, Hey, you know, uh, there's a button on his back. If you push it, he can, like, punch. Makes Fuck sense. you, Duke. So, uh, this is DG of Dark Light HQ. This is Zach of Dark Light HQ. Signing out. Signing out. Over and out.